Hey, welcome to the second tutorial video on minions. So in the last one I showed how to import this custom uh, skeletal mesh and how to set it up so that we have, you know, animations um, and so on. But in this one uh, I'm going to show how to change its uh, default behavior. So to do that we will change its attack pattern. And we can do that through data. So to remind you, uh, if we go to our data and uh, minions monsters, you can see our dino here, and you can see its attack pattern is set to troll. Uh, so we want to add a new attack pattern. So we can browse to this uh, attack pattern data table to add a new attack pattern. So going into the attack patterns, we can see that we have one set up for various monsters in the demo project. Uh, we can uh, often we might want to duplicate one. Uh, but now we're going to make a, from a new one entirely from scratch um, and we'll call this dino and then we have our pattern so here it says card pattern so this uh, will tell us what cards this uh, minion is going to be using and in what order uh, so we'll start by adding one pattern here or one element to this pattern and then again we'll get a uh, this uh, another nested array which shows the various card options. Now what this shows is that at round zero, so the first round, uh, what card options does this uh, minion have to pick from? So we can add one here and we can find and we can choose what specific card we wanted to, wanted to use at turn zero. Uh, so we can search then for cards and we have the minion cards here which are specifically made for use by monsters uh, or by yeah by minions by themselves instead of cards in hand and we can choose one from here here you can see that we have a few different ones and for now on let's just you know choose the troll slam as the only one we'll keep a weight of one i'll go back to what is uh, means and then a maximum number of repetitions of two. Since we don't only have one, uh, then this will be ignored since there are no other options we can choose from. But we'll keep this for now. And when we now hit play, uh, this guy should be attacking for 10 damage every turn essentially. With nothing else going on. And there he actually got, oh yeah, he still has the same attack pattern. So it was just luck that he got the correct one. Uh, so if we find here in our monsters, we need to uh, change this attack pattern to dino. And now, now we should be attacking for 10 each turn with nothing else. And he should be allowed to do this every turn, no matter what happens. Yeah, so that is working. So that's the simplest kind of attack pattern you can have, just a single um, a single ability that is continuously repeated. Uh, we can have multiple options within the same index, so if you want at the first round of combat, you want it to be a random uh, options of getting different kinds of cards. So we can add another card option here, and for this also we'll find the minion cards, um, and we can choose, uh, say, the troll block, and we'll have these you know, equally weighted. So if both of these are one, that means they'll have an equal chance of triggering. I prefer to set this up you know, as percentages. So we'll have a 50% chance, but having both of these at one and both of these as 0.5 will uh, give you exactly the same effect. This is just how are the options within these card options uh, proportionally to each other. But then we have two options. So now if we hit play, uh, he should sometimes be choosing to block and other times be choosing uh, to attack and he would have a 50% chance of doing either. Um, so yeah, now by sheer luck he's doing it every other round. <laughs> but he should be able to do the same multiple times. And finally we got it there. <laughs> Gain armor twice in a row. I was beginning to worry something was broken. so. Just with that, like that with randomness sometimes. So you have these two options and he might select either. We also have this uh, max number of repetitions. Oh, that's probably why we saw it. No, okay, they're both at two. So 
uh, yeah, the number of times we're allowed to repeat the same uh, the same uh, card in a row. Uh, so you can change this if you want to, you know, make sure that they're not stuck by accident doing the same uh, one over and over. Um, so that's those, and you can see that we're repeating from zero. This means that when we're done with this one, uh, and when we're done with all our uh, our patterns, we are returning back to zero. At the moment, we just have zero, so we're just continuously staying at zero. Uh, but we can here add another card pattern, one which is for you know the second turn, and we can add some card options here as well, uh, finding these the minion cards, and here we'll do the um, the troll, uh, yeah, the mass strength ability, which gives strength to all minions. So, and then we're going back to zero. So this means that at turn one, this dino will either do a slam or do a block, and then the next turn it will do a mass strength. Then it will go back to zero, where it will have a fifty percent chance of doing a slam or a block. Uh, next turn, going back to mass strength, etc. And you can see how this works now. So first, it should be either blocking or attacking. Next, you will get this buff, where he's giving strength to both, and then he's back to you know doing his random attack. Now he's been buffed, you know, since he has gained some strength, and it will keep going like that. Um, so repeat from you put it to zero if you just want this continuing pattern. You can put it to something higher if you have maybe a monster who does something special on turn one or turn two before they go into kind of their loop. Um, so, and if you want something different from that as well, where you have even more specific control on what has happened or what uh, attacks are used, you can change the attack pattern component to one that you design yourself. Uh, so if we look at the Spider Queen version of an attack component here, you can see that I've overridden this function for getting the next card. And here the Spider Queen is checking, okay, on the track that I am at, are there any other uh, enemy minions beside me? If there are not, then it will reset its attack pattern uh, back to, well, minus one, which sets it to zero next turn, which will cause it to uh, keep spawning minions uh, if there are none left. And if not, it will keep attacking. Uh, so you can make these sorts of adjustments to get next card and other things in the component and change the component here to get different kinds of behavior if you want some advanced control. But for many types of uh, minions, uh, this will work fine, just the basic type of attack pattern that you have a good deal of control over through data. Lastly now, adding your own uh, like monster or uh, minion uh, cards is very similar to adding other types of cards, but we can take a look at that. If we go to the minion cards, you'll find a lot of those here, but there are some differences. Uh, so one you see is that for the portrait, instead of using you know one of these card portraits, I'm using one of these icons, which will determine which icon is shown over the uh, the head of the minion when it is uh, planning to use that specific ability. Um, and also you have to be a bit mindful of what you're choosing here on targeting. I mean, you won't be able to choose a type of targeting that requires player input or something like that, right? So something like, you know, targeting the opposing prompt minion uh, is something that will work for a lot of things. Or if we look at, you know, mass strength, it is targeting all valid targets. And in this case, it's targeting, um, you know, all uh, enemy targets. Uh, are the ones that it's searching for. Anyone who has any of these, any minion who has any of these two tags on them, uh, it will target uh, with this mass strength ability. So you just uh, make sure to choose types of targeting uh, which allows the minion to do um, its own uh, um, target selection and does not require specific input from the player. And just to add one ability here, we can add you know, a custom ability for our dino, um, yeah, let's just make a duplicate. Uh, see my uh, card tutorials if you want to see how to make a card from scratch. And for this, we'll just make a duplicate of the spider slam, and I'll call this dino slam. Um, and we'll change it here as well. Dino slam. I'll also change this to the strength icon just just for fun. And uh, let's. Let's give this quite the bite, right? We can add the effect value and set it to, you know, just 500 damage and just kills us instantly. And for the attack pattern, 
of the dino. We do that the second turn he does his dino slam, which will kill us. And we can test that out now. So first turn seems fine, not a very dangerous enemy, and then oops. He's gonna be attacking us now. Yeah, the screen shake goes wild and <laughs> we are dead. So yeah, that's it for changing minion attack patterns. So that's the most important stuff for how to create your new custom minions. I hope that was useful and I'll see you in another tutorial.